Hi, I am Vihan. Do you know bee farming or apiculture? Bee farming. Beekeeping is the maintenance of bee colonies commonly in man-made hives by humans. So let's see our Tech Pandas Bee World that has 16 bee farmers working together to produce good quality honey. As you can see, the entrance has the farmers names and their number plates. We have numbered them at as it would be easy for you to reach out to them. I am bee farmer 1 and my farm is very rich. Do you know why? Because I have a lot of flowers and vegetables that are loved by bees. My garden has potatoes, wheat, carrots and beetles. And also it has many kinds of flowers like roses, oxydaisies, peonies, lilacs, uh, sunflowers, blue orchids which are full of nectar. I have placed beehives in the garden so that bees do not have to travel far. Also, I have placed compost for better farming. My garden also have a house for the bee farmer and a storage place for the honey. I have given information on how we should work on farms while collecting honey as it can be a little dangerous work if it is not done properly.
This is farm number two, Adit's farm. Hello, Adit. Hello, guys. My name is Adit, and I am a bee farmer. Today, I am giving you a little tour of my farm. Let's begin. But firstly, I am going to tell you that my bee farm number is two. So, here I have planted some peonies. Some roses, some sunflowers, and then I planted blue orchids and red tulips. So I'm going to explain each one of the flowers that why I have planted those. So let's begin. So here I have peonies. I've planted peonies because. I thought that bees do love the same bird and double peony and the nectar. So here are these. Here is the second plant. It's roses and here yeah, actually roses don't really produce a lot of nectar, mostly pollen. But bees seem to enjoy the same roses. So moving forward, I have the sunflowers. This sun. The bright large flower heads of these sunflowers present a nectar and pollen mother load for the pollinators. Moving forward, I have some blue orchids and the, uh, you know what that blue orchids mostly depend on the bees to pollinate them so they can reproduce and in return the bees get fragments compound they use during courtship displays so it's a vendor for both and for the last plant I have the red tulips so you might think that why will I plant the red tulips but you know actually the red tulips bloom as early as the late winter they can be some the limited flowers Open to insect pollinators. So this is all for today, and I hope you like my garden, and I hope that you visit my garden again and again. So thank you, and bye. Hello everyone, this is Divich and welcome to my bee farm. As you have already noticed, I have put many roses, peonies, sunflowers, lilies and cornflowers in my garden. My garden also has a visitor's lounge where visitors can dress, but they are only allowed in small groups so bees are not harmed by their journey. My garden also has some useful information boards at each interval of your journey. I also have some farmers who would guide you through your journey in my farm and also tell you some important information about bees. And also if you have noticed I have put some crops aside my bee flower garden. These crops include wheat, 
beetroot, pumpkin and melon. And here's a very important fact. Do you know, when bees roam around some crops, they drop pollination seeds which help the crops to grow faster. And also, in the end, I have some feedback boards in my garden where anybody or any visitor can write a feedback how my garden was and how can I improve it. Thank you. Apiculture cooperatives are where many bee farmers have centralized, democratic and volunteer body that stimulates bee farmers initiative, combine their efforts and make them self-sufficient members of the society. Hello everyone, my name is Pihu and today we will be exploring my bee pollinator garden. So this is my pollinator garden, there are a lot of flowers here and a lot of bees are sucking the nectars on them. So here we are. So this, what do we mean by pollinator gardens? Pollinator gardens are for apiculture and apiculture is the care and management of bees to collect bee, honeybee, honey and wax. For good apiculture, we need good flowers. So we have tulips, we have roses, we have blue orchids, we have sunflowers, we have aliens, we have more roses, we have peonies, and we have azure bluebirds. Did you know that bees are attracted to flowers with the colors of yellow, white and blue because they form a blue halo around them which attracts the bees to collect their honey. So there we weave down a box of honeycomb here so that it's easier for the bees to um, travel to from the flowers to the um, to the honeycombs and then nests and there's another box. We have rivers around the flowers so that they don't they don't lose water. Yeah. So hope you liked my bee garden and hope you will visit it again. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Shwari Gupta and this is my bee farm, bee farm number 6. I've divided it into three sections and we are going to see each of them. So this is section number 1. This is where bees live and we have bee hives and bee nests on trees. Bees to honey in this. We also have some water for irrigation of trees. You all may already know that bees love flowers and they collect nectar from them to make honey. So we have some flowers in the section 2. Moving on to the section 3, this is the storage silo. Here I store everything that I require like I have the flower seeds and the honey produced by the bees and also I have some empty bottles for collecting the honey. Now I think that the bees have done their task of collecting the honey and now I'll collect the honey and bye I'm off to the commercial center. There is 
also has golden gold. Honey, please come to my garden once and enjoy natural honey for nature. Look around my garden. It, has, it is so beautiful. Bye bye. Welcome to my bee farm. I am the bee farmer of pollinator garden number 7. Let's go into my garden. So this is the main entrance of my garden. Then I have planted many trees in my garden such as tulips, daisies, sunflower, roses, etc. Then these are the wall type structures which I have made for the design of my garden. Then in front of it there is some benches where you can sit. Here we will go to the pond which is having many flowers, many flowers in it. After it, we will go here and enter, enter from here to the storeroom, to the bay of storeroom. And here I have kept some benches and this is the storeroom which I have made for keeping the collected honey from Venus and Pi. So so this, this these are the honey bottles and chests which I have. You know my honey is very rich as it is made up of uh, fresh flowers such as daisies, tulips, and etc. Roses. Then this is the exit door of her bee pollinator. So thank you all for visiting my bee garden. Hi everyone, this is my bee pollinating garden. It's a big tree which has many beehives and we extract honey from these beehives. As you can see there are many honey bees here. They extract honey from the flowers. We can extract honey from these bee nests and then we put them into these honey bottles. My pollinating garden has many types of flowers. These are some honey bottles that have been extracted by the farmer. Hello everyone, I make a bee farm about a bees and research and put and make also bee museum about it. Here, this is my entrance and this is this has been full of flowers, many flowers, and here 
I put many bee combs for the honey bees. So in this set I have bottles. So I so I can collect the bee honey from the bee bee comb. Now if I go down and and in in this tree I also make a terrace kind of thing so I can see my bee farm and people can come here to also see the bee the whole bee farm here I make the same kind of thing and here I make a cave 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 thing now here here I I have put honey eggs and name tags and sg bottles and i if i dip, dispense this this and this now if i go now if i go to anvil and put a egg and a dev tag and i can name it for example my b enter so i will have a egg and here i can spawn the bees and they will go up from here and here i have a lever kind of thing so i can go down so people can do, go down and see my research about the bees for example i have make i have told them that there are 20000 species of bees bees can by f f found in every continent which has flowers etc here i make kind of storage also thing so here i can show my farm accessories and honey bee combs honey comb honey bee so i can go up and i put a kind of i have put a beaker for for, for lightning And here, I also make a small bee farm for from the researching honeybee that will come from here, and they can live in these honeycombs. So, this is my bee farm. Thank you for watching. Flower and the flower. Flower 
Girls Group 2 contains peonies and roses. And we have four entrances and three entrances. This is the main entrance. Welcome to bee farm number 13. It's allium, blue roses, lily and sunflower. And if you go more ahead, you can see two trees. And there are many beehive from where we collect honey. And from here, we take honey and import it to the commercial center. Thanks for visiting my garden. This is my first aid center. The center is created by me, Adit and Vibhav. This first aid center is for farmers and visitors. The center has all the facilities of OPT room, emergency room and also area to sit. When some bee farmer is stung by the bees, the doctor treats the bee farmers in this first aid center. There are boards placed for do's and don'ts while visiting the garden for the safety of the visitors. Thank you. by bees. The flowers and vegetables which I have placed include roses, oxydaisies, sunflowers, tulips, etc. And these have a lot of nectar and pollen for bees. I have also placed melon in my garden. I have put a lot of beehives in my garden for the comfort of bees. I have made a storage place for collecting honey in my garden. I have also put some information about the bee farming and how is it done and why is it important.
have the bee farmer my bee farm is rich in honey it is made up of many flowers such as peony flowers rose bushes lilac flowers sunflowers lily of the valley corn flowers oxy daisy tulips azure big bluets allium blue orchids poppies and dandelions it is also made up of bee nests honeycombs and other building material Isn't that magnificent? It has been such a wondrous and an enriching experience for all 16 of us. We learned about bees, beekeeping, bee cooperatives, and how to be a good beekeeper, how to make a career in apiculture, and how to save bees in the urban area. So we strongly advise you all to save your bees in the urban areas so that your future can be bigger, brighter and tastier. Thank you and happy beekeeping.